Hey y'all and welcome back to Katie on the flip side. I am here today to give you the update on my post second testosterone pellet, like second rounds of testosterone update. Um, it has been a while since I posted an update. The last update I posted, if you missed that, um, was seven weeks ago. It's actually been seven weeks ago today since I got the second one put in. And in that um, video, I talked a good bit about kind of like how I could tell it was wearing off and what things I was experiencing and all of that and covered kind of like the side effects I'd had the first time, the results I'd had, and all of that. So if you're interested in that, go back and watch that video and it'll give you some information. Um, I haven't really put up any videos on this channel since then, and if you have not been following me on other platforms, I did start a podcast in the meantime, and I have been doing podcast episodes over there, um, talking about everything from weight loss, how I lost 35 pounds in six months, how I've kept the weight off, um, dealing with body image and um, self-love, dealing with motivation when you have no motivation, um, how to get yourself motivated to lose weight or exercise or get healthy. Um, there's also been some discussions on there that Cullen, my husband and I have had about marriage and all of that. So if you're interested, you can check it out on your favorite pl podcast platform. Um, Katie on the flip side is the name of the podcast also. So Anyways, I'll get right into it. Just wanted to update you guys on that while I was thinking about it. Okay, so I am seven weeks post my second testosterone pellet getting inserted, and it's been almost five months since I started this whole thing all together before I got the first one put in. So the second one was put in right around three months, and the pellets are supposed to last about three to four months, and around two and a half months with the first one, I really could tell that it was wearing off and was having some like serious, serious issues, um, which... The update would be that yes, things did start to get better. I was definitely able to tell um, when it started to work. Um, I felt like it was a little bit longer uh, than it took the first time. Maybe it was a little over a week, maybe 10 days or so. And I was like, I mean, I think it's starting to work now. Yeah, I feel a little bit better. And I feel like with the first one, the first time around, I was like, whoa, yeah, this is great. Like, I feel so much better and I don't feel so tired and all of the things. Um, I describe a lot of those symptoms in previous videos too. I don't want to spend too much time going into stuff I've already covered. Um, but this time around, there was a difference. Um, I also started doing the progesterone like I'm supposed to this time around versus the first time. I just wasn't able to tolerate it. I was still on um, birth control. And so combining the bioidentical progesterone with the synthetic progesterone, it was just, it was a hot mess. Um, so I did the progesterone for a couple months, and then this past month, um, when I started doing it, it's always, the progesterone's always made me a little bit tired, and a little bit like sluggish mm -hmm. and all of that, but I felt like this time around when I took it, it was just so obvious, like after a day or two, I was just like struggling to wake up, I was struggling to stay awake, I was like just... I don't know, let me just read you the email. I wrote my doctor because I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, this is affecting my work and my everything because I just, I could not, I, I couldn't function very well. It was like, if you've ever been pregnant in the first trimester, it was that feeling of like your body is in some molasses or like quicksand and just physically like walking or like moving your arm is difficult. Like it's, it was just like a physical exhaustion and a mental exhaustion, like not feeling right. So I had taken it for about a week and I wrote him and this is how I described it at the time while I was like in the moment. I said, I'm sluggish, tired, foggy, and feeling all the feelings of hopelessness, lack of motivation, no drive to stay on top of my work and business, extreme irritability, irrational thoughts, etc. Um, and then I said, it's taken me three days to finally get this email written, if that tells you anything. Like, just the thought of putting this email together to write to him was just overwhelming. And I've described that in my previous videos, that like the feelings when the testosterone, when I was low on testosterone and my hormones weren't balanced, was just a feeling of overwhelm, of like anything was too much to think about. It was, it was just like a mental strain to even think about like what is supposed to be for dinner, what's supposed to be for the kids' lunches. And once that first pellet started working, it was like 
all of a sudden I thought, how, how was this so hard for me? Like, why was I not able to, to think straight about packing a lunch or, or doing these little things? But imbalance in your hormones can cause so much, like so many things to be crazy in your body. So when I wrote him, um, he was, he told me, he said, let's just, just stop taking the progesterone and let's just see what happens. And I kid you not, the next morning, like after I didn't take it that night before, I woke up feeling a little bit more refreshed, a little bit more motivated, and I'm like, is this all in my head? Like, I hope it's not all in my head, but I just, it, there's no way it could be because literally the physical feelings were, it was, it was not all in my head. Um, and then by the next day, I was like, oh crap, this house is a mess. I need to clean up this house. And I was like getting stuff done. And it was, I mean, it was a world of difference. And so that was really interesting. Um, I will say as far as the testosterone in general, um, I asked him if I, I just, I'm not sure. Like I don't feel the same as I did last time. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Um, he actually sent me in a, uh, test, like a blood test requisition or whatever you call it request so that I can have my blood tested and see what my testosterone levels are right now. Um, I'm right like seven weeks in, like it should be good and balanced right now. So I'm inter interested to see what it is because I've definitely not felt like it's almost like I never recovered from that week of progesterone. Like I've, I've definitely felt more motivated and got back going again, but just like I'm, I'm really exhausted again. Like I feel something that was great once things were balanced is that I didn't have that two o'clock in the afternoon. Like, oh my gosh, I just want to close my eyes and take a nap. Like that was something that I've dealt with for a really long time. And I thought it was just because, you know, I don't know, you get tired that time of day and, um, you don't get enough sleep and yada, yada. But even when I was getting enough sleep, I was still exhausted like that. Even when I started eating better and healthier diet, exercising, all that still was, you know, feeling that way in the afternoons. And I haven't had that feeling in a long time until recently. And I'm like, is, is it that my testosterone isn't balanced now? Because like right now it is morning time. And usually morning is when I'm like the best and most awake. And I could like close my eyes right now and go to sleep. I'm so tired. Um, and I got seven hours of sleep last night. Like I got good sleep and I shouldn't be feeling tired. I mean, it's, I don't know. I know this sounds like <laughs> crazy and people are like, well, you're going to be tired. You have two kids and you're busy. But what I'm saying is just that I can tell a difference from the last time I had the pellet done in this time. Like I don't feel the same, um, lift in the, the brain fog. Um, I have noticed one of the things that I had noticed when the testosterone was working was that I was not as out of breath when, um, exercising. Like I was able to have more endurance and stamina with my workouts. Um, I was able to work out harder and feel like I was getting more done without like dreading a workout. And I have been like struggling to push myself to exercise lately. Um, I definitely feel like more of the, the brain fog, the afternoon sleepiness, just difficulty organizing my thoughts and focusing on something. Um, before I was about to make this video, I was just writing down a couple things so I wouldn't forget to say anything. And I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I was about to look up something. I was about to look up, uh, God, I can't even remember. And I was looking, planning to look at the dates to see like how far it had been or whatever, but it was just one of those, like my, my train keeps going off the tracks in different <laughs> directions. And that's just something that wasn't happening a couple months ago. Um, we do have a lot of stuff going on in our lives right now. We're in the process of selling our house and hopefully potentially buying another house. So obviously that takes a lot out of you, but it's just a feeling that I recognize is basically what I'm saying. So if the test results come back and say that my testosterone is good and balanced, I will be really surprised. Um, and we'll have to figure out like maybe, you know, what else is imbalanced. But, um, I will say as far as the side effects of the testosterone, I have noticed that my, um, I'd mentioned before losing hair, which is a very common result of getting the testosterone pellets. I feel like that has gotten better. I am still like 
shedding hair. Like I'll notice in the shower that my hair comes out more than it used to. I feel like it's slowed down a little bit and I do have a regrowth of hair. So like I've got, I don't know if you can even see right now as I'm in this car. All these little short hairs right here are hairs that have grown back and you can kind of see, usually you can really see it after I blow dry my hair before I straighten it, but I've got like lots of little tiny hairs around the edges um, that are growing back in. So that's great. And I'm really glad that that is, I'd heard from a lot of people that after the first month or two that that slows down and it's taken a while for it to slow down. Um, I have been using a spray that he gave me, that my doctor gave me to help with that. And it's got um, minoxidil and ketoconazole something or another in it. And I think he said it has, um, is it estrogen or something? It has something, a little bit of something else in it. Um, it's a mixture that they compound and put together and it really apparently helps. I had also talked about how I was having problems with water retention. Like I could just tell in my hands, in my face, in my like everywhere, my whole body, like all my clothes were fitting tighter even though I hadn't gained weight. And that's finally gotten better. There were a couple weeks where I took um, like a water retention pill just over the counter, what's called Diurex or something like that. There were a couple weeks where I took that to kind of like help reduce the water retention. And then um, I started getting leg cramps, like real bad leg cramps. I think sometimes that can happen if it's like making you dehydrated. Um, so I stopped taking those and have not had problems with water retention since then. So that's been great. I'm super thankful for that because that was really, frus really frustrating when I'm on a, a weight loss journey anyway. Um, as far as weight loss or weight gain, um, I have basically stayed the same since I started. Um, I feel like it has been a little bit harder to actually lose weight. I do feel like my clothes have fit a little bit looser, so I'm not sure if maybe um, I've heard from people that uh, with the testosterone, your it helps you to not store as much fat, but it helps you to build more muscle. And I know that muscle is weighs more than fat, like for the amount of space it takes up. So who knows? Maybe it's that. Um, but I basically stayed the same, but I, I, I haven't been like, I don't know, I have been mm -hmm. trying. I'm still trying to lose weight just like I was before. It just hasn't been falling off like it was before. So I don't know. That's where that stands. I'm still basically the same as I was when I started within a, you know, I go like up or down two pounds here and there all the time. It's just a constant like range <laughs> that I'm in. I, overall, in general, I am feeling a little bit better. I do feel some of the effects. I just am not sure that it's quite what it was before. It's definitely helping. Um, not quite what it was before in it's, I'm hoping, I'm, I don't know, I'm hoping I can get some answers from the test results that I have done. I'll keep y'all updated on that and let you know what I find out. If I find out anything interesting, if I find out that everything's balanced, I don't know. We're going to have to come up with something because like it's killing me to just want to go to sleep all the time. <laughs> That's part of what is just so frustrating. So anyways, uh, leave me some comments below if y'all have had this done, if you have any feedback or any experiences. It's been great connecting with some of you guys who are either going through this or have gone through this and hearing your stories. So thank you so much to those of y'all who have shared with me and um, for all the support and love along the way. If you want to hear updates and uh, keep up with the other stuff that I've been talking about, go check out my podcast Katie on the flip side or check me out on Instagram katiepie07 you guys are the best and I really appreciate all the love and support always thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video bye